as previously, the method is exactly the same. The only difference is the amount of time you're cooking it for. Now, most of you were there or thereabouts. Some of you went slightly over onto medium well, some on the very, very verge of well done. The majority though, bang on the medium. With a, a rare steak, like I said, the process is exactly the same, the only difference is time factors less. Um, we, we sort of said, look at the steaks, about five minutes was taken for the medium. So realistically, we're probably looking at about three and a half minutes for rare. So again, if you want to use your phone to use as a timer, by all means do so. If not, then just have a look at the clock. But also, start using your touch as well. So. No, I'm not quite happy with that. Wasn't enough sizzle there for me. Don't be afraid to take the steak out if you're not happy with it. Remember initially, it looks like there's a fair bit of fat there, or oil. As you saw at the end of that last one, it's all gone. So again, I'm not quite on full heat. And again, I'm not rushing to do that first turnover. It's a shame sometimes you can't record the good smell of it to so get the smell as well. As I said to you when we were looking at the steaks itself, these ones do have that ring of fat on. So you want to make sure you get that feel as well. Even though your customer may require their steak cooked less, you need to make sure obviously you don't have things that are raw fat. Make sure you just seal it. Now the best way of doing that is very carefully if you can. Just hold it there for a few seconds. Now remember, all timings are rough estimates. Depending on how hot your pan is, you may decide actually it's a bit longer. Go by touch. But at the moment, it's still blue. And already you can see, it's burning off that oil content. What if you're using an um, electric stove? Okay. Okay. What if you're using an electric stove? Oh, it shouldn't be fine. As long as you've got pure heat there. Remember if you use an electric stove here. Mm. Yeah. Right. You start <laughs> off at your hottest point and then move the pan down. I can hardly put my hand here to cut really. But if I move down here, I can easily put my hand down. If you're using a hob, they are not hot, you might just have it half on, half on, half on. 
Right, so back to the state, so it should be about there now. Yeah, nice bit of colour there. Right, happy with that. So you just take them off. 